A white buffalo? It is only natural for human beings to notice change. We can't help but notice the most outstanding things, animals or people in our surroundings. Even the slightest change in color is magnificent in the human brain. Colors are the smiles of nature, such as albinism. Albinism is a congenital disorder that is associated with lack of melanin pigment. It affects the eyes, hair, and skin. It causes poor eyesight and the skin is more sensitive to sun rays. At this time of the century, at any one point, you are likely to bump into a person with albinism. But what is even rarer is the possibility of bumping into an animal with albinism. Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Forever Green. Today, we are going to explore the most beautiful albino animals. And you should stick around for number one, as we will show you some beautiful animals that you never thought existed and even get a glimpse of what it's like when gods run out of paint. 11. Albino Stag there are more than 60 deer species in the world. Deer are found widely across the globe. In fact, they are in all the continents except for one, Antarctica. Deer can either be male, female, or stag. In case you are wondering, a stag is just a larger male deer. Majority of the species have antlers. Their antlers also happen to be the fastest growing living tissue on the planet. This is because their antlers are covered with a fur-like substance that has nerve endings and blood vessels. Every once in a year, the antlers fall off and grow afresh. Just how cool is that? Male antlers can grow up to a whopping 125 centimeters long. Stags come in mostly in shades of brown. Sometimes they can have a little white, while other times they can be completely white. White stags are very common due to a condition known as leucism. Leucism results in loss of natural hair and skin color, but they can also be white due to albinism. Before you can declare that a stag is albino, take a good look at their eyes. Albino stags have pink eyes. Those with dark eyes are just white stags. There are lots of myths surrounding white stags, regardless of whether they are albinos or not. White stags are said to be a sign of purity or a possibility of great change ahead. Killing a white stag is said to cause bad luck. In general, a white or albino stag is considered a good and bad omen in the same measure. What does an albino stag mean to you? Let us know in the comments section. And now, let us joggle our minds a little bit, for it is riddle time. What is the color of wind? Do you think you have the answer to our riddle of the day? Be the first to leave your answer in the comment section below. 10. Vervet Monkey Vervet monkeys are a type of small monkeys with a black face with a white band on the forehead and overall grizzled gray hair on the rest of the body. The ears, feet, hands, face, and tail tip are all black. They're only found in Africa, particularly in the South and East African countries. Tourists visiting the Timbavadi Game Reserve in South Africa get to enjoy a view of an albino vervet monkey, unlike albinos in other animal territories who are seen as outcasts and different. This one has been accepted by his fellow vervet monkeys, and they can be seen playing quite often together. His hair is all white with a white pinkish face. The ears together with the fingers and the toes are also pink in color. Wouldn't you want to pet him? Other sightings of these delicate, beautiful albino vervet monkeys have been documented at Zambia, with one being a frequent visitor of the Livingstone Hotel, Zambia. However, it spends most of the time alone, unlike the other regular vervet monkeys, probably after being denied by the troop because of its color. 9. Raccoon If cuteness was to be measured, then these albino raccoons would emerge victorious by a milestone. On May 20, 2011, a Toronto home was invaded by a family of raccoons. A wildlife control officer was then alerted, and what he found was nothing but a bunch of beautiful raccoons with irresistible cuteness. A litter of four baby raccoons, three of which were albinos, and one normal was an extremely rare discovery. On average, on one in 500,000 raccoons are born albino, and for the three of them to be born in one litter was even more unusual. Just look at the lethal amounts of cuteness displayed by their glowing white hair, blue eyes, and pink nose and claws. Wouldn't you want a pet or even keep one? What would you have done if you came across them? Let us know in the comments section below. In Long Island, New York, a man was lucky enough to capture a rare albino raccoon on his camera. The raccoon had visited his garden in search of food. The odds of you being struck by lightning are way higher than ever spawning an albino raccoon. So if you come across any, count yourself lucky. 
Before we move on to our next beautiful albino animal, leave us a like, smash that subscribe button, and turn on notifications, and you'll win 10 years of incredible luck. Try it, it actually works. Eight, squirrel. Squirrels are without a doubt, one of the most adorable creatures on the planet. I mean, who wouldn't love that small head, big eyes, and a magnificent bushy tail? They look so cute gnawing on food with their front teeth and holding nuts in their little paws. They are small and intelligent, which also means that they can be sneaky and a total nuisance. They run in a zigzag manner, so you'll have quite a hard time catching them. While we are busy cutting down trees, squirrels are busy planting them. They constantly bury nuts and seeds for future use, but most of the time they forget about them, and that is how some of the plants come about. Squirrels are usually gray or red in color, but sometimes they can be white. I'd say that they look like rabbits with a bushy tail. White squirrels can be as a result of leucism or albinism. Leucism results in partial loss of pigmentation, while albinism results in total loss of pigmentation. So if you want to differentiate between a white squirrel and albino squirrel, just look at the eyes. White squirrels have dark eyes, while albino squirrels have red or pink eyes. In January 2021, somewhere in Sussex, an albino squirrel was spotted searching for food on a tree. It was snow white with no spots or stripes. Also in Brahmam, a family got to see an albino squirrel in their garden. This particular squirrel seemed to thoroughly enjoy peaches. The probability of seeing an albino squirrel is 1 in 100,000. So if you ever come across one, don't miss the opportunity of documenting it. 7. Porcupine According to the Associated Press, the chances of coming across an albino porcupine are 1 in 10,000. The most amazing thing about an albino is how fuzzy it looks in white. It looks more of a rabbit, and you might quickly forget about the 30,000 spines on its coat. That's literally 30,000 reasons as to why you shouldn't come near it, no matter how adorable it looks. Trust, you wouldn't want to upset these wood lovers. In July 2019, staff at Seashore Trolley Museum in Maine were treated to a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity when they came across this rare creature. At first, they were unsure of what it really was, but after taking a closer look, they realized it is a rare porcupine albino. With the help of their Facebook fans, the porcupine was named Marshmallow. I must say that this name actually suits it. While we were all locked down in our homes in 2020, the Crocker's family were treated to a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. They saw an adult porcupine climbing a hemlock tree on their property with a little white thing on its back. Days later on the same tree, they saw the white creature, but this time, round it was closer to the ground. When they got closer, two spines were launched. This is when it dawned on them that they had come face to face with an albino baby porcupine. They were not sure if it was an albino or just a white porcupine, but when it turned towards them, it was complete with red eyes and a pink nose. 6. Snail While jogging out in the park or even hiking out in the woods, it's normal for one to come across snails. The normal snails we might come across have a multicolored shell with their bodies either dark brown or gray in color. However, hikers in New Zealand were perplexed when they stumbled upon an albino Powell Ilfanta snail. Powell Ilfanta snails are the giants of the snail world and are among the most endangered invertebrates. This albino snail had the characteristic golden brown spiraled shell as expected, but its body was glowing white rather than the normal deep black or gray color. Just look at how stunning it is. Truly, if you can't be in awe of mother nature, there is something wrong with you. 5. Zebra We are all used to the black and white striped zebras. However, tourists on a safari drive in the Masai Mara Game Reserve in Kenya witnessed what one would describe as spectacular. In a herd of the low grazers, one zebra seemed to stand out. The albino zebra had a faint stripe pattern, with most of the stripes lost in the partially tan and partially white shade. Just look at how imperfect, yet perfect, the zebra looks. A polka-dotted zebra had as well been spotted in the same game reserve while crossing the Mara River with its mother. In Tanzania Serengeti National Park, an extremely rare zebra with partial albinism was spotted on February 2019. This one in a million beauty was golden colored with its black stripes turning goldish. About a dozen more albino zebras have been photographed at the Mount Kenya Wildlife Conservancy, which has led scientists to the conclusion that the genes responsible for their albinism are widely distributed in Kenya. 4. Lobster 
Generally, it is believed that as humans, we know more about Mars and the surface of the moon than we know about the oceans. Do you agree? Well, off the Yorkshire coast, a fisherman was dazzled after his fishing net caught a one in a million white lobster in December 2019. The fisherman, on seeing the uniqueness of this crustacean, decided to donate him to the National Trust. This was despite numerous mouthwatering offers he was getting for the albino lobster. On August 2018, Mike Billings, a fisherman in Maine, caught another albino lobster. Locals in the area term them as ghost lobster, and they believe that catching one is a sign of good luck. The albino lobster appeared translucent, and one could clearly see its internal parts. Mike then went ahead and threw back the lobster into the ocean. How thoughtful of him. Albino lobsters lack the blue or yellow colors associated with them, and therefore do not turn red on boiling. Have you tried seafood? Not the usual fish fillets. I mean like lobsters and other crustaceans. Leave a comment below and tell us about your experience. 3. Kangaroo Aren't we all fascinated by the fact that female kangaroos have a pouch on their belly that they actually use to carry their babies in? They are the tallest marsupials, with their height clocking at 6 feet. Kangaroos are equipped with strong hind legs, which they hop on, and when need be, these legs give one of the most powerful kicks. Kangaroos mostly come in grays and reds. If you are lucky enough, you might come across a rare kind of kangaroo in white fur and pink eyes. Unfortunately, this snow white fur gets in the way of their survival. Camouflaging becomes impossible, and predators can easily spot them. Very few make it to old age. Park rangers at Namagi National Park, Australia, were shocked to come across an albino kangaroo that was still alive at two years old, despite being in perfect contrast of its gray buddies. Albino kangaroos are not just a star of attraction to natural predators, but also to poachers and other malicious people. In 2020, a German zoo reported that a weeks-old albino joey had gone missing. From their investigation, it is said that there was no sign of a fox or any other predator. They were positive that Mila, the albino joey, had been stolen. Mila had been born to an albino kangaroo named Monia. She too was an albino and seemed to have passed down her genes to her daughter. Does anyone know if the little kangaroo was found? Please let us know in the comments section below. 2. Asanara Donkey These domesticated members of the horse family are used as work animals, occasionally being referred to as beasts of burden. Normally, donkeys have a coat that is either gray, brown, or black or even broken color of black and white, or brown and white. The Asinara Island in Italy, a times referred to as the Donkey Island, is home to the breed of feral Asinara donkeys. Nearly 95% of the Asinara donkeys are albinistic with a pure white coat. These miniature albino donkeys can be found feeding along the beach. Sounds like the dream destination. Watching them with their white coats, glowing in the hot sun, munch on the grass is like watching tufts of cotton wool. They truly blend in with the island's landscape, and one can only admire these tiny snowflakes of cuteness. It's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber wondering about this enormous white beast with fearsome horns being led away by a farmer, and if there really exists such a creature. If you come across a mysterious photo that you want us to look into, just send it over to us, and we might feature it on a future video. Now. We looked into this picture and are excited to reveal to you that there indeed exists such a beautiful bull, just like the one pictured. Well, not just one, but several of them. And this takes us to our number one, Buffalo. These majestic beasts are known to have black coats, which may turn dark brown as they age. Albino buffaloes are as rare as a hen's teeth. The probability of seeing an albino buffalo is one in 10 million. Thailand is home to the famous water buffalo, since way back, Thai farmers have been using the water buffalo and helping with the tedious farm activities, especially plowing the rice fields. The water buffalo is the cultural symbol of Thailand. These gigantic bulls are known to be very gentle and docile despite their fearsome horns and size. They normally tend to have a dark or dark brown coat. However, one farmer was in disbelief when she found that her water buffalo wasn't like the rest of the herd. At first, the bull appeared to have a black coating but when the farmer started cleaning it, the black coating, which to her disbelief was mud, started falling off. The farmer then went ahead and washed the whole buffalo while scrubbing with detergent and she discovered that it was an albino buffalo. How lucky she is to own such a rare creature. In Jamestown, under the blue skies of North Dakota lies a home to one albino buffalo famously called White Cloud. 
White Cloud was born in 1996, and as the name suggests, her coat was fuzzy and whitish in color. Like most albinistic victims, White Cloud was almost totally deaf and had poor eyesight. She also had pink eyes and a pink muzzle. While at the museum, White Cloud had three calves, but none was albino like her. Eventually, on August 31st, 2007, White Cloud gave birth to her first white calf, who was named Dakota Miracle. It was indeed a miracle to come across yet another white buffalo. Unfortunately, White Cloud passed on in November 2016 due to old age. She was 20 years old at the time of her death, and her remains are well preserved in the National Buffalo Museum. Her white calf, Dakota Miracle, remained very active and quickly became a star of attraction. In 2019, at just 12 years old, Dakota Miracle was found dead. Miracle had succumbed to injuries she had gotten after falling into a ravine. Due to lack of pigmentation in her eyes, Miracle suffered from poor eyesight, which played a key role in the accident that led to her ultimate death. Elsewhere, on April 2009, rangers in Kenya's Hell's Gate National Park were treated to a sight of beauty when they spotted an albino buffalo. In the wildlife-rich country, this albino buffalo was the first of its kind ever seen. The buffalo had a light brown coat, making it stand out among the herd, a true 1 in 10 million sighting. However, the rangers expressed doubt in the survival of the three-month-old calf due to cultural stigma surrounding albinism as well as predators. And that's it for the most beautiful albino animals. Which of these animals do you think wore the best and was the most beautiful in white? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you like this video, you should definitely check out our video on animals with the biggest teeth in the world.